condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space or developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? They were busy talking about their plans to take over the world. So I left them to it. We played our part in all of this. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom and that was stupid. What are you going to do now? Maybe I'll go back to the people I like. The people who like me for who I truly am. I haven't met too many along the way. <laughs> and what about you? The CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given them an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen, Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again, you know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. I'm, I'm not ready. some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Well, look, whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I can. Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle. I'll tell you what, I'll find you, OK? <laughs> this way, Jody. Decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. Here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says, 
Thank you. Jody, oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Elizabeth North, no identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars for services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot, hanging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Condenser that can communicate with souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Give me your hands. Nathan? 
<laughs> You're hurting us! You've got to let us go! Let us die! You... You're lying. Helen did say that you did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two of us. That's not true! You're lying! I know they want to be with me again! I know they want to be with me! They're suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing! You hear me? Nothing! Goodbye, Nathan. you find peace. Thank you. 